today is the transgender day of visibility. Or, if you want to be a bit of a prick about it, like me, to Dove. All the weird shit happens in March, doesn't it? The title suggests it's a day for those either transitioning, or who have transitioned, to cast away their invisibility cloaks and proudly say, I am trans. Which is kind of fucking insane, since the whole transitioning thing is so you can feel more like a man or a woman, and not fucking draw attention to the fact that you're not. But it was actually HSBC who took the opportunity to virtue signal their cold, lifeless hearts out in an attempt to make everyone forget they laundered money for drug cartels. Take it away, banksters! Um, I bought the newspaper. The uh, person behind the till said, thank you, ma'am. Okay, so this person must be female to male. That is a bloody astounding job. By the way, you pass like a motherfucker. So this can't have been a recent occurrence because there is no way anyone would think you're female. You look like someone's dad. The person behind the counter could have just said thank you, but was displaying some remarkable manners in the use of the word ma'am, and that is very fucking rare. So I hope you didn't take it to heart because it was just someone being polite. And I was like, oh... It was just gutting, um, to be honest. Yeah, it was a reminder that you aren't the gender you feel you are. I get that. But gutting? It's a title, man. It's admin. I don't lose my shit every time I see my passport says British citizen instead of Kekistani. If you can let a word like ma'am get to you that bad, you aren't going to last long on this round earth, are you? That's right, flat earthers. I said round. See? Trans lead HSBC Pride Network. How can you feel gutted by being reminded you're actually female when you go ahead and wear this badge that says I'm trans? Be proud of it if you're proud of it or hide it if you just want to integrate as a man. But you can't do both. You'll feel gutted no matter what. On the day that I went into the branch to, to change my, my name and my gender, I was terrified to be honest is that because you had to acknowledge the fact that you transitioned into a man instead of being born male or because the bank you use has affiliations with organized crime because when you go in to to change your gender in a, in a bank you have to come out to the branch yeah but it's a bank it really doesn't give a shit unless you're referring to the people in the branch in which case just has to go to a private room or something you can't exactly do it over the fucking phone you know do you know how easy it would be to put your name on someone else's account i'd be fucking minted coming out to anyone is a difficult situation it's very nerve-wracking you don't know how people are going to react yeah but when it comes to your bank account i can pretty much guarantee the reaction you get will be a professional one they didn't get their job through being able to rip the piss out of someone if they did again i'd be fucking minted I wasn't entirely sure what they would need, but actually it was fine. I had brought the right things. But obviously knowing that would have given me a little bit of comfort. It's an administrative process. I don't know how you're getting your brand new bollocks in a twist over it. Sure, for the people in the bank, it might be the most interesting thing that happens that day. But all it really boils down to is changing the name on an account. It's not like you had to transition all over again in front of them. Or that they put up a banner and rented a bouncy castle to celebrate having a trans customer what one of the things that we did to change that was actually arrange um some training oh yeah everyone loves training don't they no chance they could just be left to do their fucking jobs you don't need training to know you have to act in a professional manner when working for a company if you're gonna weigh everyone down by forcing them to take training on the struggles of the transgenders just so they can work behind the counter in a fucking bank how do you think people are gonna feel about those transgenders to me it makes you seem vulnerable and weak and that you need protecting like some kind of endangered species which just isn't true um so we have um a training pack that's gone out to um all of our branch staff and all of our contact center staff oh it was a training pack okay so you're not taking it too seriously then for transgender people we had mx but we didn't have a whole load of other ones what the fuck is MX? How would you even say that as a title? That would really fuck me up if I worked for this bank. Mr. is a word. Mrs. is a word. Fucking miss is a word. Lord, lady, master, baron, duchess, doctor, fucking 
Queen, all words. MX is two fucking letters, it's not a title. If you transition from one gender to the other, you transition from one gender to the other. You don't become some magical third gender deserving of its own title and pronouns. And doesn't it draw attention to the fact that you're trans? I should imagine most people just want to get on with their lives without a reminder of it every time they cut up a line of cocaine. And actually, especially for um, people who, who identify as non-binary. Yeah, well, children are too young to have a bank account anyway. What are they gonna do? Fill it up with all that screw you money they made from their degree in gender studies? Fucking deluded. They don't necessarily always want to use the MX title. You know, I can totally believe that. You see, it's different, but it's not different enough, is it? They'll want something a little more special. So we've added uh, uh, 10 other new titles on there that allow um, customers to choose one that's more appropriate to them. 10 new titles. 10 new titles. 10 new titles. Fucking hell, HSBC, how do you even look the Mafia in the eyes? Ten new titles. And you know that's not going to be enough, don't you? They're going to complain that they aren't represented in your ten new titles and demand more. And it's too late. You've invited them in now. Your application forms are going to be so big, Greenpeace will pull you up on the amount of paper you're using. I think training is really important. If people understand the challenges people face, then we can change. Um, otherwise, nothing's ever going to change if we don't understand each other. You're not fucking disabled. You don't need a fucking ramp to get into the bank. What exactly will teaching people about the challenges you face do for anything? They just had to change a couple of things on your account once you'd proven you were who you said you were. Tap, tap, boom. Now there's training about your struggles and 10 new fucking titles, creating a world of hurt for what was essentially a painless fucking process. Previously, I don't. I think that not everybody was um, as aware of of their parts to play on people's journey. And we're still here, so that method was absolutely fine. Now there's going to be all kinds of shit when some poor girl working for HSBC uses the wrong pronoun and mispronounces it or something, and you'll have to listen to them, no matter how ridiculous they're being, because you've already pandered to them once. And that's it. They've got their foot in the door now. I wouldn't be surprised if your company was rebranded as HSBC LGBTQAII in a year's time. And all of this is useless information too. Your fucking title affects nothing. Fuck me, this is the kind of shit I wouldn't be all that surprised about if it came from an American university, but an international bank? Are you fucking mad? And um, understanding that helps to, to make that journey that little bit easier. How? How is that making it easier? It's not helped a single fucking aspect of it. If you've transitioned from one gender to the other, you will still have to change your name with the bank. Remember? That thing you were terrified of doing? That doesn't change no matter how many fucking titles you create. If anything, it's gonna be more of a sweat now because you don't know what fucking title to choose. And what about all the workers who refuse to use those titles? There's gonna be some. HSBC will have to create policies and hand out disciplinaries. They might even face legal action from people feeling unfairly treated in light of these new policies. Do you see how much hassle this creates and all the while solving nothing. Don't get me wrong, I'm down with trans people. That shit cannot be easy. But this isn't helping them. This is just indulging those who wear gender like a pair of fucking shoes they can take off at the end of the day. Thanks for watching, guys. I've really been getting dicked by YouTube's demonetization and the reduction in the amount of ads being shown, meaning this channel really isn't earning anywhere near as much as it used to. If this goes on, I won't be able to keep up with this content as I'll be working my day job a lot more to make ends meet and there just aren't enough hours in the fucking day. I don't want to get dicked and I don't want you to get dicked. So please consider becoming a patron. The link is in the description. Some of you already have and you guys, you've got my highest level of gratitude. I'm working on some more exclusive content for your beautiful, beautiful asses. Thanks for listening guys and remember, HSBC stands for Highly Strung Bunch of Cucks.
actually bank with HSBC, so if you're watching this, go ahead, shut down my account. You can have me £7.89, pricks.